Hey guys, my name is Tom, and in this video, I, with my assistant Pink over here, are going to teach you how to find the equation of a sphere in such a way that we see the center and the radius of the sphere. So we will begin with the more general equation and then transform that by using the method of completing the square. Okay, so I hope you've had a great day, and so does my friend over here. Smile, there you go, it's good for you. Let's take a look. And now this one deals with fractions. So let's write down the exercise. That's the first step. We have the following, and I will use bright colors. I like them, I think they're helpful. 9x squared. It doesn't look very bright though. Hmm. It's a nice blue, but it doesn't look very blue here. 9x squared plus 9y squared plus 9z squared minus 6x plus 18y plus 1 equals 0. So this is what you're given. So Hmm, that does not look like the prettiest thing in the world, right? But it's manageable. If you do it a few times, you realize it's fairly mechanical. So when you see this, what you want to do is divide everything by the 9. We want the coefficients on x squared, y squared, and z squared to be positive 1. That's why we divide everything by 9. So let's take that as the first step. Divide everything by... 9. So every single term you see, divide by 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, and 9, like this, okay? So now let's write the equation as it's simplified. 9 divided by 9 is 1, so all you have now is x squared. 9 divided by 9 is again 1, so all you have is y squared. 9 divided by 9 is 1, so all you have is z squared. Now here we have negative 6 ninths. Let's simplify that. I will do that on the side here. So we have negative 6 over 9, which is negative 2 times 3 over 3 times 3. So cancel the 3's. And all that remains is negative 2 over... 3. So we have negative 2 thirds x. Then we have 18 divided by 9, which is 2. So plus 2y plus 1 ninth. And all of this equals 0. 0 divided by 9 is still 0. Okay? I see this smile right there. That's super powerful in life. Okay. <clears throat> now, let's take a look. The next move is to apply the method of completing the square. So, but before we do that, let's gather the x's and the y's and the z's. And let's move the constant to the right side. So what we'll do is this. Let's write here x squared minus 2 thirds x plus y squared plus 2y plus z squared and all of this equals to a negative 1 ninth. This negative 1 ninth comes from taking the 1 ninth positive and moving it to the right side so it turns negative. Now we have this set up and we can complete the square on the left side. So the way to do it is write your x and then subtract one half of the two thirds. So minus, and what is a half of two thirds? Let's review. You have negative, we'll do it with two thirds positive. So you have two thirds divided by two. It's the same as two over 3 times 
2 cancel the 2's and all that remains is 1 over 3 so what we have is x minus a third and the whole thing squared then we have plus y plus the half of the 2 which is 1 square the whole thing and then we have plus the z squared and now here we have to subtract away the squares of the 1 third and the 1 so minus 1 ninth minus 1 all of this equals negative 1 ninth okay? this negative 1 ninth comes from the fact that if we expanded x minus 1 over 3 okay if we, if we multiply that out that would give you a positive 1 ninth extra so to cancel it you've got to subtract away the 1 ninth if you foil that y plus 1 squared that would give you an extra 1 which you have to get rid of by subtracting 1 that's why you've got to have these included if you don't you are completely changing the nature of the problem you've got to take that step okay now let's write x minus one-third squared plus and now I will rewrite the plus here as minus a negative one and the reason for doing that is you'll see in a second let's gather the constants on the right side so we have negative one ninth plus one ninth plus one so now we have x minus and now I will highlight in orange the center of the circle okay minus one-third means minus a positive one-third plus y minus a negative one plus z squared because there is nothing there and then we have negative one ninth plus a ninth is zero and then here we have positive one and we can write down the center of the circle as and again, that a smiley face. We have a smiley face over here. <laughs> All right, that means C, center of the circle. We have one third for x, negative one for y, and zero for z. The radius of our circle is the square root of 1 which is again 1 that doesn't change so this is the exercise step by step by step it's fairly elaborate watch the video a couple times go to your book do some exercises remember as you're working them keep that on your face it will be very helpful to you there you go, and you will learn something new. And in this exercise, I deliberately rewrote, okay, the plus one here as minus a negative one, because this immediately shows that the x coordinate, I'm sorry, the y coordinate of the sphere is at negative one, and the x coordinate of the center is at positive one third, and the z coordinate is at zero for the z coordinate you m might be helpful to write that even as z minus zero squared okay so then you can tell it's at zero you might want to write it that way instead of writing just z squared okay and on the right side 
what we have is 1 squared like this okay so this is how using the method of completing a square after dividing across by <clears throat> a constant and using fractions you can find the center and radius of a sphere so thank you for watching have an absolutely amazing day and remember smile